Hello friends, today I am going to show you how to configure uh, always on with replication. Here I am having uh, node 1, node 2, node 3, node 4. So here node 1 and node 2 is going to part of always on and node 3 is going to part of distributor and node 4 is going to be subscriber. If you are having a uh, if you, if you are not having three instance four instances you can use a uh, node 3 as subscriber itself okay to make you understand in very easy way i have taken four instance so right now uh, i don't have any linked servers between any of these these four are are very indivisible if you see here uh, go to server objects uh, linked servers nothing go to the server objects linked server nothing so all are individuals so there is no link uh, relationship at, uh, by any chance okay so now i am having node one adventure works right so i am deleting that i am restoring one of the database called adventure works here so now i click uh, go to So restore it. I have restored Adventure Works database. Okay, now uh, I want to configure always on first of all. So right click new wizard. So just maximize it. Now we can minimize now text AG. Windows yes, now add the database. Yeah. So node one. So uh, before this one, I have restored right. So now I want to take the fresh back first full backup. So just click OK. Now go to all group wizard. Minimize, maximize this. Next. Test AG, select the database, next, add the primary replica which is node 2, execute it, synchronize it, synchronize it, so make the sure secondary replica is in read only, click yes, click yes, next, next, finish. Yeah, I have configured always on. Now I need to configure listener. Right click new listener. Or listen, select static IP. Port number 1433. Click add. Here 10.0.0.36. Click OK. Yes, I have configured the listener as well. Once you configure the listener, uh, make sure that you are able to connect uh, from all the replicas. I have connected from uh, node 1. Just move to that uh, node 2 and uh, disconnect that tag and connect. Now I am able to connect the listener name. Okay, now it's time to configure the replication. So now right click on replication right click on local application new publication select adventure works 2019 now transaction replication neg new expand uh, right now for practical i am selecting percent dot address table next next select the option create the snapshot immediately next secure the option run first run the select the first option click ok next next so t or click finish yeah now i have configured replication uh, from node one now refresh it to it once expand it and right click on new subscriptions select new new so here has subscriber 
So here you need to select the node 4. Now right click on new database, call text. Next. So here right click, uh, select the option. Right now, next, next, finish. Yeah, I have configured replication. Now, right click on subscription, view snapshot agent. Yes, snapshot agent was generated. Done. Now view, view, view log reader. True transactions with five commands were del delivered. Now you can launch the replication monitor. Yeah, if you see here, uh, can't distribute commands are zero. It means the chance uh, de uh, the changes were delivered already to the text for now right click on that Yeah, it got delivered. Okay. Now I am ch making changes in adventure works Yeah, right click now you uh, edit. Here you need to select uh, any select any column like India. Click save, close it. Now come back to the node four and see the changes are replicated or not. Yes, changes are replicated. Now, if I do failover to the node 2, so how the distributor agent will know that this go on verify, take the changes from this. So when you fail over, the current primary replica will be become read only, right? So for this, you are having this command. So now you have to execute this command in the node 3. So right click new, new query, paste the query here. Now here, you need to from which uh, replication we have configured replication means node one right so that's the reason we have select this as a node one so for the publisher db this is the publisher db so cross check the names advntur works 2019 right so this is the listener name could they cross check the listener name as well uh, or listen yeah it was the name now i'm executing on node three click execute it was done successfully now what i will do here now uh, this is what done right now i will fail over to the node 2 so currently if you see that launch uh, replication monitor it is running fine right so now minimize this okay now go to the replication and fail over See the changes is there any yeah it was done right now see the see it got some issue I can't write so if you see that redirect excellent right no problem now what you will do uh, come to node 2 expand node 2 here now again come back here Click edit. See, this is our retrying. Okay, just uh, it will take time. It will slowly uh, get that. Um, now come here and do a uh, type this China. Click OK. Okay, now come back to the node 4, refresh it once, and uh, here, uh, where is node 4? Node 4 text expand this. Now, see the changes are come. See, China, it means now 
if it is failover back also no problem uh, the changes will get redirected to the um, node to subscriber via distributor the distributor knows which one is active and which one is passive okay uh, now if you want to see the replication monitor see the replication monitor is also fine so now if you want to see that uh, and if you dish commands also zero now I, what I will do I will minimize this one again I will fail over back to the node node 1 go to distribute uh, go to node 2 um, there is failover failover yeah this is failover next yeah this was in uh, next yeah now uh, node 2 is secondary what I will do I will go on person dot address uh, click edit now here I will type us click save yeah now go to node 4 refresh it once now go to databases test tables person dot address this is not yet ready right no no problem will take time okay uh, now we go to replication monitor so it will retrying that yeah now it's good right okay now go to this command yeah now it's zero it means there are no issues so now what we will do here uh, now uh, can uh, refresh it in once close this close all these windows go to node 4 node text see the changes got delivered to the uh, subscriber after even after fail back as well so we have successfully configured replication uh, with always on so first what I have done is I have configured um, always on and once you done configuration everything make sure that you are able to connect with listener from all secondary replicas first thing first you have to confirm that once you done that okay these two commands are enough okay uh, this is first to configure publication at that time it will be useful and this is the for the redirection purpose so this is not required uh, so you can, you can ignore this these two are very important so once you deploy that you will fail over everything uh, okay so once it is done then only you can configure uh, I mean to say like uh, you can do that you, go, you can deploy that into production so I am going to give these two scripts in the description and if you are encounter any issues uh, please do comment uh, we will happy to help you thank you bye